at stuff from 11.1 and 11.2. Okay. So we should have this stuff in front of us. All right. So did you guys finish up the um, the mean absolute value or the MAD of brand two data? Yes. What did we get? Wait, is this like a Two point nine three seven. I don't know. That's right. Two point nine four. Okay. Really? <laughs> so the mean absolute value deviation is where you say the absolute value of 35 minus 4.25. 41 minus 4.25. Do you have to do it for all of them? Yes. 51 minus 40.25. So there has to be these or these. I would hope. And then 43 you take the minus 40.25. And then you take the absolute value of it. Yep. 38. Minus 40.25. Is it horrible? Right? Who wants to do this? Nobody. All right. I actually don't. I do it. Uh, 44 minus 40.25. Absolute value. 39. 39. Minus 40.25. 43. Minus 40.25. Absolute value. Okay. Who's working for me? Okay, and then you keep going. So that was 39, then we go 36 minus 40.25. Yeah, 37 minus 40.25. We already did 38, so we don't have to do that again. We already did 39, so we don't have to do that again. We've got to do 40 minus 40.25. We've got to do 42 minus 40.25. We've got to do... 37 minus 40.25. We've got to do. Did I sign out? You didn't hear me when I said that? And we've done 44 and we've done 40. So we calculate all of those. And then we have to do whatever those numbers are times how many there are, right? And then add them all together and we get 2.94. What is higher is a mean absolute deviation mad. There is more in the set. We're skipping this. Yes. So then you add up all the answers. Okay, so for example, we've got, I don't believe we're going to quiz you on this. That was the decision. Thank God. So we have the absolute value of like 35 minus 40.25, and that gives us 5.25, right? Let's say there are two 35s, right? You go 5.25 times 2 plus all of them, depending on how many elements there are. Again, I don't believe they're going to quiz you on this. So I don't want to spend enough to, um, that much time on it. If we end up being tested on it, I will review it with you guys. We add up all the numbers and divide by how many are off. See? Okay. All right, let's move on to example two. We want to look at these box plots. Caitlin and Philip go to neighboring high school, and both are chairs of their school's fundraiser. Caitlin claims the students at her school are raising more for charity than the school students at Philip's school. The amount raised by a random sample of 30 students at each school are shown in the box plots below. Do the data support Caitlin's claim? I think it's supposed to be, does the data support Caitlin's claim? Okay, so we're going to fill out this chart using this data here. So remember, this first one is Caitlin's. It's going to go in this chart. The second one is Phillips. It's going to go in this chart. Okay, what is the minimum? What number is this right here? So it's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. What's the maximum? It's right here. I would say 68. The first quartile is right here. The median is right here. Okay. The third quartile is right here. Okay, equilateral range. 
This means the third quartile minus the first quartile. So we go 52 minus 32, that gives us 20. Okay. Phillips school. My minimum, one, two, three, four, five. My maximum, 68. First quartile, 45. Median is 50. Third quartile, 56. And then the third minus the first, so 56 minus 45 gives us 11. 11. 11. Okay. All right. So, Caitlin says, Caitlin claims the students at her school are raising more for charity than at Phillips. Do we agree or disagree? So here's Caitlin's scores. So my minimum and maximums are the same. But remember, 50% of the data is in between the box. So 50% of Caitlin's data goes between 32 and 52. 50% of Philip's data goes between 45 and 56. So it's wherever in between. Yeah, so Philip's has more between the higher numbers. See, 45 is higher than oh, 32, 50. and 52 is higher than 56. So I would say that so you Phillips literally is mean the number between like a, so it's like what median is higher? It's done, sometimes the medians can be the same, but remember, here is 50% of the kids. Okay? See how his 50% is higher up than her 50%? Oh, I said that it's bigger. Yeah, it's more towards higher. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the classwork. And homework. Yeah. Okay, I would actually like you guys to look at the back page. So turn it over first. love it if you guys looked at the very bottom. We're going to talk about some easy ways because we know what the mean is. Right? Do we remember? So L numbers up and then divide by how many numbers? We've got mean, median, mode. Range. Oh, Range we can do. Okay. Mean is we add them all up, divide by how many there are. Median is line them all up in order from smallest to biggest. And this time could be an eruption, a tenth and all staff, but this time could be three sisters, the boys, JV, baseball team, two be good luck at the left end to ignore. Three sisters, the boys, JV, baseball team, two be good luck at the left end to ignore. Thank you. Mode is how many there are. So if there's like three threes, and there's one of everything else, mode is the answer. Range is from the biggest minus the smallest. Uh, so if I have like one, two, 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 four, three, the mode is the one that's most free. So it's two. And you have two modes. Okay, so we're looking right here. And we're going to use this data to practice finding different ways of finding the mean that it's going to be easier than just adding them all up and dividing by them. Okay. So, first, we're going to practice with this data set, one, two, three, four. We're going to add up all the numbers in the data set and then divide it by the total number. So we're going to say one plus two plus three plus four. And how many are there? There are four different things, so we're going to divide it by four. And I get 2.5 as my answer, right? 
Yeah. Add these together. One plus two plus three plus four. I push enter and I get ten. And then there are four different pieces of data. So I divide that by four and I get two point five. That's my mean. Okay. So now we're going to try this. In our calculator, we're going to first put the word mean, like type it out, M-E-A-N. Yep. So see like I'm doing it right here, M-E-A-N. Then I'm going to put parentheses. And then inside the parentheses, I'm going to hit the blue button or the yellow button for you guys and hit those funky brackets. Did you do parentheses first and then push the yellow button and then push parentheses again? Okay. Then I'm going to list one. Do you guys see where the comma is? It's way down in the bottom. Yeah, we got brackets. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So I'm going to hit this button right here, giving me parentheses. Everybody good? Got the parentheses? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to hit the control button. Yep. And I'm going to hit these parentheses right here next to the Oh, o. that one. Okay, yeah. And they give me the funky parentheses yeah. brackets. Okay. okay. Then I'm, I typed in the word mean, M-E-A-N. Okay, okay. Then I'm going to hit 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. And I'm going to hit enter. <gasps> Five halves. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So it is actually a mean of 9. Bring it to me. And we'll look at the difference. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, well, that was <laughs> <what I'm laughs> You spelled mean wrong? I spelled mean oh, for some reason. <laughs> it's, it's, literally, it's hard to type with these things. It is hard to type with these things. Okay. Now, we're going to go to a new page. A new document. I'm going to go down to add list and spreadsheet. Oop, that's not the page I want. So you hit doc, and then I'm going to go down to add list and spreadsheet. I'm going to put an X up here at the top next to A, skip the gray line, and hit 1, enter 2, enter 3, enter 4. And now I'm going to hit Control Doc to add a page. Oh, I don't even have to do that. I'm going to just press Menu. How do you get that? Let's see. Yeah. Menu, and then I'm going to choose Statistics. Then I'm going to choose Stat Calculation. Then I'm going to choose one variable statistics. Then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK. I have no idea. What do you have to do? It's, you guys know that it's written right here, right? Steps. So you hit menu and then four for statistics, one for stat calculations, one for one variable statistics. Choose OK. Choose OK. And then if you look at the X with the bar over it, that's 2.5. So these are just ways to do it? Yep, different ways to find these. Okay. Shh. All right, let's go back to the first page. We want to make a box plot using these. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is make that number line at the bottom. I'm going to make my number line go from 18 to uh, 52, and I'm going to count by twos. So I make a line. Right here I put 18, 22, 24, no, 26. If 
you were doing a dot plot, you could go to the box plot. It didn't really work. So now I'm looking at this, and for me, I'm looking at how am I going to set this up. I need to know the median, quartile 1, quartile 2, the max, and the min. That seems like a lot of stuff. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Your numbering system is weird. I just counted by twos. Yeah. 18, 20, 22, 28. Yeah. 28. I got 22, 24, this should be 26. Uh, okay, yeah, I was like, 28, this should be 30. Uh, this should be 32. Yeah. I don't know why you guys are freaking out. It just confused me. Nope. My brain just kind of died. That nope. Yeah. Having me fix it is fine. Freaking out. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Okay. All right. I had to go from 30 to 32. Ugh. <laughs> 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 46, 48, 50, 52. Did you just make it? Okay. Okay. So, when I see all this stuff I have to do, I have to put this in order from least to greatest. Shh. I have to put this in order from least to greatest, find the median, then from the median to the min, find quartile one, then from the median to the max, find quartile two. That seems like a lot of work, especially when I can put this all in my calculator. Add lists and spreadsheets. I'm going to put an X in here, and then I'm going to list the numbers. I've got 25.5, 32.5. Does it matter what order you put these in? No. No. Just, it goes by twos. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. You don't have to do it that way if you don't want to. You can do it a different way. I'll show you in just one second why I did it that way. Well, what are we going for? 50, right? Because, look, there's 50 is the biggest number in it. So at least 50. Okay, so I've made my list and put it in my list, and then I'm going to hit Control Doc. I'm going to add a stats page. I'm going to click down here, picking X. And then I'm going to hit menu, plot type, box plot. And the nice thing about this is I don't have to find those numbers anymore. It just does it for me. Median is 32.5. No. Quartile 1 is 24.75. Quartile 2 is uh, quartile 3, excuse me, is 45. I the max is. Three. Yes, it's quartile 3. Max is 50. Min is 20. So, I hit control doc. Okay, so this makes my life easier because then I just go to 32.5. 2.5. So you can totally do all of these things by hand, but if you have a graphing calculator, I don't know what you would. Okay? So what I'm going to do instead of making all of this homework is I'm going to change it slightly. How about the first page front and back, if you recall? So just through number 5. Does it have to be a quiz review? So this is like the stuff that's going to be on the quiz review. Yep. Okay. Right. So, zero. 